Next year, Europeans get the chance to replace their EU MPs. The worry, though, is increasing numbers of voters are being attracted to the far right. At the root is anger at what's perceived to be unbridled immigration while suffering from stagnant economies and stubborn unemployment. Tessa Rosilia looks at some of those on the right who are lining up to take on Brussels. They mince no words. European people are realizing that the EU is an empire, a Soviet Union, that in fact is destroying their freedom. The authorization of Islamic mass immigration to Europe has been one of the greatest mistakes of recent decades. And they're all fired up to continue. Shake the system. There are two increasingly popular figureheads riding a wave of nationalist movements across Europe, not quite in the mainstream, but no longer on the fringes either. Germany, France, the Netherlands, Belgium, Austria, Greece, Italy and the UK, all seeing the success of political parties which, in varying degrees, are anti-EU in its current form, anti-Euro and anti-immigration. Today, Europe doesn't have economic growth, nor does it really have peace. The right and the left did not manage to resolve the problems, and the far right feeds off it. A new poll of voting intentions showed that nearly a quarter of French voters would vote for France's National Front in the May 2014 European Parliament elections. That's ahead of the country's two leading parties. And this swing to the right could very well sweep across Europe, as Marine Le Pen's National Front and the Dutch anti-Islam politician Hert Wilders' Party for Freedom plan their move. That's despite reports that Wilders in the past disapproved of anti-Semitic remarks by Le Pen's father, while Le Pen reportedly described the Dutch as more radical than she was when it came to Islam. It was in this restaurant that two of the most confrontational politicians in Europe had sat down over a meal and gotten to know each other. And in the end, they realized that they had more in common than they might have initially thought. So much so that for political parties that claim patriotism, they decided to put their differences aside and pursue an ambitious goal, changing Europe's grand plan. Europeans and the French have understood that the political structure that defends people the best is the nation. But today the decisions are made in Brussels, in Berlin, in Washington. They're not made in France, and this cannot go on. While a potential alliance between far-right parties is already stoking fear into some in the EU. Italian Premier Enrico Letta called the growing popularity of Eurosceptics and the far right as the most dangerous phenomenon facing the European Union that could lead to the most anti-European parliament in history. In the end, it's a numbers game. As far as that's concerned, the rise of the right is not quite just a blip on Europe's radar. Tessa Arcilia, RT, Paris. And it is the latest general elections in a number of EU member states that have raised the most concern over the swing to the extreme. This year, for example, in Austria, the far right secured uh, one fifth of the ballot. The movement for a better Hungary made big inroads at the National Assembly in 2010. And the same year in Latvia, the National Alliance came in fourth. And in 2011, the True Finns party quadrupled its share of the national vote. For Norway, it's a particularly painful problem. The Anti-Immigration Progress Party came third in national elections this year, despite having mass murderer Anders Breivik as a former follower. Social research expert Johannes Berg believes populist appeal is feeding the ranks of the far right. All of these parties are anti-immigrant, they're anti-immigration. They do express sort of the, uh, the, the strongest sort of anti-immigrant views uh, in Europe. And so that's where these parties might have a certain influence, as they have had, like in Denmark, for instance. Uh, and so resistance against immigration is one thing. The other is a uh, sort of anti-elitist sentiment among voters in Europe. So people who wish to express a protest or an anti-elitist sentiment uh, tend to support these parties. They could have a, a major influence, certainly in terms of immigration policy uh, and uh, in terms of uh, the, the way that Europe is, is viewed around the world.